Okay, so let's say uh, use phase principle to determine uh, phase prime of the following means derivative. Okay, so this is very simple. So let me start with the phase one. So the phase one, let's say phase and foremost, we need to know the formula of the phase principle, which say if this function means f, we must say f is g, we say g. f of x equal to f. This is a formula you need to, you're gonna have to memorize this. You're gonna have to memorize, and then here f of x over h limit h approach to equal to zero so you memorize that formula right there okay now let's go <clears throat> so what we're going to do it's actually the face question so what we're going to do is fx equal to x square right fx equal to x square okay fx equal to x square so we're going to say here uh, uh ffx equal to x square right okay so our formula say f prime equal to uh f x plus h because it's about f it's about g you put g here minus f of x over h limit h approach equal to zero so now you say f prime we're looking for equal to f f is this number whatever number you see here before whatever x like okay you see there's an x is like x f is the number before so which number is here here is one if there's no number so i'm going to say one one is this f is one and then put your bracket bracket because you have to follow this whenever there's an x you see it must plus h so whenever there's an x you must plus h so there's an x x say so now what happened whenever there's an x you must plus h you follow the form and then what happens square means you have to square square because this must follow there and then we finish how the formula say minus 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 f of x what is f of x f of x is this exactly which is x square x square and then over over h over h limit limit from the formula limit this h approach to zero so what we're going to do we're just going to expand it okay so now let's expand so f prime okay let's expand this so this is just a one our x square equal to x square and the plus two x h or h x either other way around two h x or two x h plus h square i believe you know how to factorize and then x square and then we over we over what over h we still have our limit h approach equal to zero so a prime equal to now we're gonna have to expand this so it's gonna be x square plus 2xh 2xh or plus h square minus x square so we over we over what over h we still have our limit limit our h approach equal to zero so what we're gonna do now you see this is positive and this is negative they cancel one another so what we're going to be left with here is uh, fx f prime. We're left with 2xh plus h squared. So we can factor out h here. h can go out. So I'm going to be left with what? With 2x plus 1h. Because 1h went out. 1h went out to factorize this. And this is the gone. Over h, I still have my my limit x up h approach. Because of so limit equal to zero so this and this cancel so now i'm left with f prime of x equal to 2xh plus 2x oh 2x 2x plus h so we still have a limit limit h equal to zero so now the only time you substitute the limit when you cannot uh when you cannot uh when you cannot uh uh, factorize or simplify anymore so you see just a 2x plus h so okay let me write here so you can see so we have f prime f prime we're left with 2x plus our h our limit h approaches so can you simplify anything <laughs> there is no simplification there i can just substitute the limit because no more simplification so h approach equal to zero means we have a 2x here plus h equal to zero means it's two x our final answer means if i find the phase principle if i derivate uh if i derivate all of this i get uh, i get two x so when you finish make sure you uh so this is my final answer. so my face by using phase principle phase prime phase prime you know what i'm saying using the phase principle So we see, oh, by using phase principle, I'm gonna say by using phase principle, excuse me, I got it. F of prime equal to what? Equal to two x, which is this one right here. It's two x right here is two x. So we get what we get? Two x. So when you finish, make sure you take a normal. 
from the question, we want to prove like normal because otherwise then you might think you got correct but you have to differentiate normal. Like using power rule now. Let's use a power rule now. What happened to the power rule? So we're done already, right? Now, take two to the back like normal differentiation. When two comes back, it's going to be what? It's going to be two. And then we drop our x. Two minus one equal to one. Yes, it's true. So if you can differentiate normal, and then after you uh, get the first principle, look at your answer here and see if it's the same thing. If it's the same thing, then you the winner. But if it's not, then you got problem. You need to check how you did it. Okay. Hello, how you doing? So now let's do question number two. Let's say f of x equal to x squared minus four x plus seven. So we know the formula of uh, phase uh, uh, using phase principle. This is our formula so yes let's get started so that's our formula right there now we can go now let's go so now i know for fakes so this formula has to work for each of each one look f means any number before x so this has to apply for each individual here now we go okay so how are we gonna say here so okay now let's go so i'm gonna say uh f prime that we're looking for from this formula equal now we go what is f for the face on f means is one a number before x can you see number before x is one for this case one and then whenever there's an x look i must plus h so see x plus h and the next there's a square so now this it has to apply for each one so this has already done for the first one so this must do for that okay what is f f is negative four so negative four do you know what i'm saying negative four and then after that we go that's negative four and after negative four so we'll Write your bracket and then we say what we say after four there's what there's an x but whenever there's an x we must plus h according to the formula now does this apply here no because there's no x here so we just say plus seven so we're done with this with all of this now the formula say minus we must minus and then after that there's the ffx what is fx fx means this one which is given so i can put bracket i say uh x squared minus four x plus seven no, I'm saying, excuse me, but I believe you can see the plus seven. So what we can do now, we over the formula say over h, we must over h, but we still have our limit. Limit h approach equal to zero. So what is the next thing here? The next thing is we have to expand it. Okay, we're gonna have to expand it. So I'm gonna say let's expand now. So we say f prime, f prime of x equal. Okay, now let me take a big paper here so we can cover off okay so now so we're gonna say right now okay okay so f prime so i'm gonna say my f prime facts okay x plus h square when you when you expand this this is gonna give you x square plus 2x h plus h square minus minus okay now this is gonna be minus 4x minus 4h minus 4x minus 4h plus 7 plus 7 now we come here minus so all this stuff here when you expand is going to be negative x square plus 4x minus 7 so minus because when you multiply it's going to be x square then minus for the second one it's going to be plus 4x minus 7 minus 7 all this stuff over h but we still have our limit what is our limit our limit h approach equal to zero our limit h h approach equal to zero so the limit it up to zero. So now there's some stuff here that must gonna cancel. They're gonna cancel this and this is gonna cancel. Now let's go seven negative and positive cancel. Most of the time, most of the stuff they cancel. Okay, positive for x, positive uh, negative for x. Okay, uh, I think I've canceled enough. So uh, the other one doesn't have any friends. So I can write them there how they are. So here is gonna be two x h. Okay, plus h square minus four h. That's all. So we over our h, we still have a limit. H approach equal to zero. So what we're gonna do now? We see h is common, so we have to factor out h. So I can factor out h. I'm gonna be left with two h went out to x plus one h went out, so it's gonna be left with one h and then minus four. Yes, minus four. But over h, we still have our limit, our limit, h approach zero. So this and this, h approach equal to h and h cancel. So I'm left with, I'm left with f prime, f prime what? 2x plus h minus 4. We still have our limit. So do not substitute the limit before you simplify. Like you have to simplify, you know what I'm saying, to the base of your ability. 
simplify like simplify a lot like simplify to the point where you know like oh I cannot simplify further so now now there's no way I can simplify further so what I can do now I can substitute the limit so when you substitute the limit means the position of h is going to be 0 so this is going to be 2x plus 0 minus 4 and finally this is equal to x minus 4 so this is f prime I don't write limits anymore because the position of limit you replace it with h so when I'm done so that's the final answer of the phase prime or phase derivative using the phase principle so when you finish don't say oh I'm done I got it just come into the original question and try to do normal derivative say oh now if you take 2 back this is going to be 2x we derivate like normal using power rule 2 times 1 is going to be 2 and then x 2 minus 1 equal to 1 okay power 1 minus when you derivate x you get 1 so just say 1 and this is a constant you derivate you get 0 so I don't have to write so 2x minus 4 which is the same with this 2x minus 4 oh I got it I'm done already so that's how you do by using your derivative using what phase principle thanks a lot for your time I believe you learned from me in a month thank you peace okay thanks a lot for your time and you know that's how and that's how we solve this question man you know what I'm saying so if you face out my channel make sure you share to a lot of people man and you know like I say all the time See what I'm saying? Your donation is very, very important because you make a lot of change, uh, you know, for these projects, you know, for the people that I work with, you know, it's a lot of team behind me, you know, it's a lot of people work with, you know, going to various projects, giving back, you know, it's something that I'm getting committed to, so I can help a lot of, especially women, you know, women is our number one priority, you know, we have to help a lot of women because me being raised by the grandma, I learn a lot, like, you know, women take a lot of bigger responsibility, and a lot of us here, you know, that's what we've been through. Either, you know, raised by, if it's not single mom, grandma, or a village, you know, and the women take a major, you know, major part in doing this. So that's why I started this, just to motivate women, inspire them, you know, so we can have a lot of uh, women scientists and mathematician and a leader, you know. So if you women, if you got sister, brother, you know, sister is special, you know what I'm saying, children and women, you know, this program is for them, you know, children and women for the most case. So thanks a lot for your patience. And thank for being here. Thank for all your donation. It means a lot. Thank you. And I'm out. Peace. Thanks a lot for your time. I appreciate, man. You know, like I say, you know, we do this. In a project to motivate a lot of people, and I truly appreciate your praise and your donation. Means I'm Hamish. You know, it's a lot of people who are new here in this channel, you know, in this program, okay? So if you face time right here in these intellectual things, intellectual property, come right here, right here, see here, subscribe and leave a comment. I will be more than happy to help you. Another thing is, again, again, I want to say thanks so much for all the people who donate to me who donated. It's a lot. It's a lot of money you guys are saying to me. It means a lot because you know, you know, I got a lot of projects that we're doing, feeding the, uh, the people, homeless people, motivates all, taking all these kids from the street and bring their dream to reality. So thanks a lot of all your donation. It's a lot. Look, uh, uh, most of South Sahara. If I give example, for example, South Africa, a lot of students that have a problem with mathematics, so mathematics and science. And you know, for the world we live in, we need a lot of people who do uh, science and research because of the things like we're facing right now, this year, 2020, like Corona and stuff, and people that have a shortage of doctors, they have a shortage of engineers and stuff. And even other causes too, but my main focus is uh, engineering, uh, science, math, and computer programming and coding like Java, C sharp and PHP and JavaScript. So this is gonna be the main focus. So now we're gonna drop the app that is soon. So you can uh we're gonna put like uh subscription fees, which is very reasonable, where you can access all the materials. So we're gonna have a causes, causes where you can uh, purchase the cause, you know what I'm saying? But of course this is for free and most of the material here is very accessible. Same with this, but it's like to some of the cause is gonna be for free and some of the cause depending on what type of course. But our main focus is to save a lot of people, save the people from uh, various places like uh, uh, 
corporate, uh, corporate, you know what I'm saying, the corporate wars. So set with a lot of people and also when we travel, go to a lot of places. So 2020, when we travel to a lot of countries, you know what I'm saying, I got invitation a lot of countries, man, you know what I'm saying, so you will see me in your town. In your village, you know, I'm gonna go. I'm a village boy, so you know, I'm gonna go to a village and go see another place, serving a lot of kids, share with them, teach them knowledge, and that I can change their life, okay? That can bring change to our society, okay? You know what I'm saying? So, Pamun Jamilali Academy, the app is gonna drop very, very soon, you know what I'm saying? I got a big team. So just stay tuned, I'm gonna announce when the app is gonna be dropped. I believe that most of the people have a smartphone, so. Yeah, you will get. I don't want to say a lot. You will see. It's a lot for you.